Hi friends, welcome to Java Design Patterns Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. Have you used singleton design pattern in your Java project? So this is a quite popular question which is asked because singleton is one of the most popular design pattern uh, which uh, newcomers use. So that way it is asked more often. Yeah, it's very simple also. So the answer is yes, singleton is one of the most popular design patterns in enterprise level Java applications because in almost every project we have to see some implementation of singleton. We need some kind of a object which is, has a single instance throughout the application. So which is a singleton. So we have used it. And even if you say you haven't used it, there are singleton Java classes that you have used. So with singleton pattern, we can be sure that there is only one instance of a class at any time in the application and it helps in storing properties that have to be used in the application in a unique location. So we can use the singleton for this purpose. But there are many more uses of singleton in Java. Let's go into our next question to see that. The question is, what are the main uses of singleton design pattern in Java project? So some of the main uses of singleton design pattern in Java, JDK are runtime, enum, properties and spring. So let's understand one by one. In Java JDK, the java.lang.runtime, it's a singleton based class. So there's only one instance of runtime in an application. And this is the only class that interfaces with the environment or machine in which Java process is running. So runtime, whenever you use, it means you're using a singleton. Then we have enum. So all the enum constructs in Java, they are also based on singleton pattern. So the enum values can be accessed globally and in the same way by all classes. So whenever you are creating an enum, you are actually creating a singleton pattern based class. Then comes properties. So whenever we have an application, we want to store only one copy of the properties so that all classes can access one copy. And whenever we have to update, we update only that copy. So this can be achieved by making the property class singleton so that every class gets same copy of properties. So that is also one very good use of singleton that we always make it single copy. Then comes spring. So in spring framework also all the beans that spring provides are by default singleton per container so there is only one instance of a bean in spring ioc but spring also provides options to make the scope of a bean prototype which means like non-singleton in a container so you would see that widely spring uses singleton design pattern 